just getting started. The city administrator in Seneca tells Ann that the damage in the hardest hit areas will take six months to a year to recover. Well, the state leaders have all hands on deck to fight the coronavirus. How they're shifting resources after yesterday's storms is a big question. 7 News reporter George Reed Godfrey takes a look. The coronavirus crisis isn't slowing down the response or aid to the deadly storms on Monday. But the coronavirus is changing the way state agencies and organizations are helping those in need. Nine people were killed and dozens were injured after several tornadoes ripped through South Carolina early Monday morning. Homes were flattened. Hundreds of thousands lost power. So this was not an isolated incident. There were parts of the entire state that were really devastated by this. The American Red Cross is assisting residents with shelter and food in response to the damage caused by the storm. Before the coronavirus crisis, the organization would open shelters, but with COVID-19, the Red Cross is now using the help of hotels. And we are having folks go to those hotels um, to stay, and that way they can have their own rooms, they can be continue to be socially distancing, um, so we're doing that. So that's obviously a little bit different for us. Damage assessment has also changed. Instead of a team, one person will assess the damage from their car and talk to impacted families via FaceTime and Skype. The mission has stayed the same, helping these people have stayed the same, what we're offering them has stayed the same, um, but again, how we're going about it is a little bit differently. South Carolina Emergency Management is in the process of surveying the damage and assessing the needs of residents. It will still be a few days before those estimates come in. At least 50 people have needed to seek shelter in one of the hotels partnering with the American Red Cross after the deadly storms on Monday. In Columbia, Georgia Rigodfrey, 7 News. The American Red Cross is saying that the cancellation of blood drives around the state has also impacted the organization's blood supply. They're encouraging people to schedule an appointment to donate so that the organization can offer medical help in the wake of natural disasters like we experienced this week.